D.A.R.E. is the result of a long aviation tradition, an adventure that started 100 years ago with Morin Saunier and which continues to this day. The story begins in 1909 when Louis Blériot is the first to succeed at crossing the English Channel. It is a success due in part to Raymond Saunier, a young engineer who designs the fuselage. Saunier reunites with his childhood friends Leon and Robert Moran to create one of the world's first aircraft manufacturers, the Société de Aéroplan Moran Saunier. At the 1911 Paris Air Show, the young company is successful, with more than 30 orders to follow. Roland Garros is a true aviation pioneer. At the controls of a Moran Type H, he makes the first crossing of the Mediterranean in September 1913. The Moran Type L becomes the training aircraft for French military pilots. World War I brutally ends aviation's budding dreams of a modern Icarus. The airplane becomes a real tool the conflict leads to significant technological advances. 100% metallic structures, heated cabins, radios, and oxygen on board. Progress is obvious, and the designs evolve rapidly. In 1935, the Moran 406 is one of the first modern fighter aircraft. Plus de 500 km h telle est la vitesse des nouveaux prototypes de chasse français. Le Moran 406, construit en grande série, constitue l'une des meilleures unités de l'aviation militaire française. The Second World War brings the company to its knees, and it is necessary to start over almost from scratch. One airplane symbolizes its revival, the Vano, of which 1,000 are ordered. Moran Saunier then launches its production from the company's new factory in Tarbes, France. New types of aircraft appear, two- and four-seaters, twin-engine, and military training aircraft. The company enters the jet age in the early 1950s. The Moran Paris, the world's first business jet with a comfortable pressurized cabin, flies at more than 400 miles per hour. In 1959, Moran Saunier launches a new program to design a light metallic aircraft that is reliable and safe, the Rally. It is a huge commercial success, with over 3,500 airplanes sold. Moran Saunier evolves, important steps are taken, and the company continues its activities under the name of Soketa. The engineering office in Tarbes uses new wing airfoils that later equip the TB airplane series for tourism and leisure and the training for civil and military pilots. In the early 1990s, a revolutionary concept in business aircraft is born. A single-engine pressurized turboprop, the TBM 700, offers a new way of traveling in 2006, it is succeeded by the more powerful TBM 850. Dyer and Sakata joined forces in 2009 to form the aerospace division of the Dyer Group. The innovative spirit nurtured by the family business for nearly 160 years and its aviation experience since the 1950s make its union with Sakata a unique combination in terms of know-how and expertise. Success has one common denominator, people, through their capacity for innovation and knowledge. The TBM 900 version is born in 2014, even more powerful, more modern, and benefiting from De Heer's constant innovation. It is the world's fastest single-engine turboprop with a range of 1,730 nautical miles and a top speed of 330 knots. With innovation being part of the Dyer's Group's DNA, the TBM evolves with the TBM 910 and 930, followed by the TBM 940, standard equipped with a home-safe automatic emergency landing system. In 2019, Dyer acquires the U.S. manufacturer Quest Aircraft, which builds the Kodiak 100. In 2022, Dyer unveils the new Kodiak 900 along with the TBM 960, the sixth aircraft built by Dyer. 
The TBM 960 combines efficiency, safety and comfort, benefiting from the power of digital technology. The same year, Dyer delivers the milestone, the 1100th TBM. This great aeronautical and technological adventure continues. New chapters are to be written. Thanks to the people of Dyer, who have always demonstrated their ability to adapt, the company has produced an average of one aircraft every two days for more than 100 years.